Thanks, we're severely hungover. I'm so hungover. We've just ordered a Domino's. So I'll show you what we got. You can eat a slice with us and then we're going to watch telly. The first box we have got, drum roll. I'm oh, They're chocolate ones, are they? Yeah, and they're caramel. <gasps> I'm going to try one out. I'm going to try one out. One, 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 one. No thanks. Hmm. I just love how it started with the first box and there proceeds to be two or three more boxes following this. Corey sets himself up for failure. Every single day this man eats out, it's always because, oh no, I've done it again. I've drank too much the night before and now I'm hungover. So in order to remedy it, I need to have a Domino's. Every time, every single time, without failure. And also, something without failure is his girlfriend is always brown. Uh, the tanner is through the roof. And in certain lights, the, the, the face tanner is not so bad in, in a lot of lights. But, like, in other lights where it's, like, dim lighting, it's so, it's so brown. It's so orange. You can see it very, very easily. And maybe we'll see a few videos of that here in this video. But let's go over the rest of the food. Um. We got chicken strips. I did order potato wedges, but they rung and said there was none left. Damn, that's how you know it's a big problem in the UK, dude. You guys eat way too many french fries over there in the UK. Why does every single meal have to have french fries in it or a chippy tea or whatever it is, dude? I understand, like, here in America, we love, we love french fries too. We do, 100%. French fries are very, very good, and they're a very generic food. You can't really fuck them up. It's, it's, very, it's like, impossible to have french fries be anything other than default okay. So, I understand the idea of it, but, like, there are plenty of other things that you can have with it, or just don't have them as much as you guys do. It's, like, it's such a default for you dudes at this point. But, over there in the UK, I, I'm gonna let you know right now, you guys eat more french fries than us Americans do. And that's actually kind of crazy, bro. Because you would think, what do, what do Americans eat most? French fries and hamburgers, right? French fries and cheeseburgers? Not even close to you guys. You guys just eat french fries as a default. Mm. Mm. Look at the caramel inside there. Bangham. Starting with the chocolate is crazy, by the way. Garlic herb dip, always. 700 calories for that, by the way. Somebody told me that those are... About 700 calories for the dips, which is insane. Um, just for dips being 700 calories is literal craziness because most meals are supposed to be around 600. So that means that this thing is literally 100 more than that. And by the way, most people only need to eat about around 2,000 calories a day. So that's about a third of that. Literally right off the top, gone. Uh, your day is <laughs> your day is ruined even if you eat some of that. <laughs> your the, the day is over. Mm. Oh, and, and then one. for the pizza, we're just sharing a large pizza. I hope that you're sharing a large pizza. It's eight slices, so that would mean that you guys have four each. Okay, Corey, I would hope that you share it. Mm. Gotta take a bite of the, the chicken mm. strip. Damn. What did you buy? What pizza? Wicked Witch of the West over there on the left, dude. I can't remember where I scored, but it's... Damn, dude. I can't remember where I scored, but it's a meaty one. And it, oh, it kind of looks, it looks like a, an infection on your pizza. You ever, you ever play The Last of Us or saw the TV, the HBO special on The Last of Us? Uh, it looks like that stuff. It looks like the infection that, uh, that was, that made the zombies in that show or that, that video game. Am I wrong? It doesn't, it looks unnatural. It looks like there's something going on with it. Like there's growth on it. We got half and half. Leah got the absolute banger. I got pepperoni passion. Oh, that's what it's called. Charlie's sister Jasmine had it the other day and I was looking at it and I thought, next time I get Domino's, I'm having this. Charlie Jenny's just left. She come over for a games afternoon. So we played Mario. It was a lot. She is. And now she's off on a solo cruise. I know. Have oh. the best time ever. Damn, dude. Wait. I thought that, I thought the other side was for her. She got pepperoni too. She's intruding on his pizza. You ordered the other side. And yet, I'm seeing you eat the pepperoni. Am I wrong? Didn't he just say that? That's right. She got she got half and half. She got this side, and I got the pepperoni passion. Yeah, so you're literally cheating. You're having his side. You're a fucking... You're so irrelevant, dude. How dare you eat this man's other... You know what? He lets too much shit... He lets way too much shit slide, dude. He needs to literally put his foot down, tell her to chill back on turning different races consistently... And stop eating my pizza, okay? Like, I get it. We're boyfriend, girlfriend, hashtag goals. But 
uh, there needs to be some limits, all right? You're not you're not eating the slices that I bought for myself. You had this half and I had this half. And now she's off on a solo cruise. I know, have the best time ever. We went to Charlie's frat party yesterday. Damn, she looks she looks worn down over there on the left, dude. She looks like she's been through, I don't know, bro, like depression eight like times eight. And it was literally the best night ever. I got so drunk, right, and I was wearing the highest heels that I ever wear, and I don't even wear heels, and I know I'm putting my foot in. You gotta, you gotta be careful when you throw, when you show your feet off on the internet. Am I wrong, dude? It is a hit or miss, because the amount of people on the internet that see feet and go, Oh my god, I am erectioned! I am erectioned! Not me, though, because I don't like feet at all. Literally, not, not even, a, not even the slightest. I know there are a bunch of guys out there that really love it. Um, a lot of black guys, surprisingly, it's always so, it's always so uncanny when you talk to a black guy. And you ask them, hey, man, do you like feet? And they go, yeah, man, I love it, dog. I love when my girl got shoe game. And you go, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, like, what about, like, sexually? And they go, oh, yeah, 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 that too, dog. I love that shit, man. I put barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, dog. You already know. Sweet baby rays all over the toes, man. I be sucking them up. Hot sauce, sriracha, and shit like that. That's what I hear a lot from black dudes. And uh, it, I would say it's probably a passive ability for black guys to like toes. I don't personally like toes um, because I'm not black, obviously. But obviously, I like other things that are weird, like having connections with women. Into the pizza, the look at the dark. Dude, putting the putting your crusty ass, dried up foot that you literally were just talking about how you don't wear high heels, and I'm guessing you literally just went to sleep right away. Putting that shit over the pizza, your your dry crusty foot flakes all over the fucking pizza that we just bought. Good lord, woman, what is your etiquette? I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter since we're having literal pizza on a bed right now. I guess they don't care about the grease, but it's also pretty fucked up to have your foot, your foot flakes, your foot dandruff slopping all over the, the, the dusty ass Domino's pizza, bro. Dusty dandruff feet on the pizza. Damage. I've fallen over, hit the deck, <laughs> and now Twice. I've got... She smashed two glasses. I know. I've got a really bad ankle, so I'm not running tonight, but... I'm gonna have a day off and hopefully my foot feels better for tomorrow. Ah. It's so hot. Mm. John says mine. No, thank you. I, isn't she literally having a slice of his? I'm pretty sure I saw the pepperoni in her mouth. She's lying right now. Do you have a slice of mine? No, thank you. I'm gonna go now because I want to scan this and catch up on his senders. We'll catch you later, all right? Disgusting. And we're feeling quite fragile, so we might Diabolical. Oh fucking <laughs> horrendous. Oh, well. <laughs> We're gonna have some hugs. Love you. Love, love you too. Love you too. Love you too. Do you know what the best? Do you know what the best takeaway to get on a hangover is Domino's? Because when you wake up from a nap, it's currently half past 11. I've just woke up from a nap and I've got pizza right next to me. I don't have to go downstairs and eat it up. I don't have to plate it up. Bro. I feel like these people got different these people got different priorities in life, dude. There's no way this man slept with a box of pizza, bro. So that way you don't have to get up and you could just literally wake up and start body slamming the pizza. That's crazy as hell, bro. That's really some big back shit right there, dude. You really sleeping on the pizza like it's a temper meat like it's a temper pedic, dude. Priorities, dude. Priorities. It's literally in a box ready for me to eat. Damn, can you imagine literally waking up? Like, you get your full eight hours, and you wake up, you got the pizza right next to your, your dome piece, so you could just slide a slice right into your mouth. You got to eat it slowly, too, because he didn't want his girl to wake up and smell that pizza, too, bro. He don't want to share that shit. I mean, obviously. And I'm starving. You just woke up, dude. What are you talking about, dude? Walk outside for a little bit, dude. Go go get, go drink some water or something, dude. Waking up and sliding pizza in the back of your throat is crazy. make it too much noise i went for pepperoni this is depression right here sometimes you don't really see depression because it's it's a little bit more ambiguous a lot of people just presume that depression is just kind of like you feel like garbage consistently and i guess that is true but it's also this too it's also laying in bed at half past 11 in the morning waking up having the box of Domino's pizza literally right on your dome piece, 
open up the box slowly, quietly, so your girlfriend doesn't hear you body slamming pizza, so she doesn't wake up and you she can't have a slice. You want that shit all to yourself so you can body wash it. And then sliding a swift, slippery slice right in your mouth. That shit's depression, in my opinion, dude. This is like ungodly levels of behavior right here. Look at that shit. He closed his eyes to eat that cold ass slice. I wonder how long that shit's been on the bed for too, bro. These people got no eating etiquettes, bro. You don't eat pizza, first of all, on a fucking bed. That's crazy as hell. But I guess these people have different priorities, dude. He's really like in love with that shit right now. I mean, think about this shit. He's really in bed sliding that shit in his mouth. And he's like, he's just in love with that shit. Orgasmic, man. Like he got ambrosia from the gods themselves. It's cold ass pizza too. Yo. The slow chews is crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Pretend like you're asleep, bro. Hey, hey, hey. You're okay, babe. I'm so sorry. I thought the house up. Diabolical, dude. Cheers, guys. You gotta have some straight up bubble gut, right? There's no way you just not. Bubbling after this shit. Gurgling, dude. You gotta be running to the toilet if you got a diet like this, man. Waking up in the middle of the night just to get a quick slice in your throat? If you've never had cheese and jam on toast, it's about time you grew up and tried it. Cheese on jam on toast. Somebody let me know real quick down below. Why does your why does your cheese look like wood chips? This is not any type of cheese I'm familiar with, dude. Why does it look like that? It looks thick and thin simultaneously. Somebody let me know down below if this is a good breakfast in the morning time cheese and jam on toast because it's 10 10 i've had this since i was a kid i need some lessons on how to start a conversation with an icebreaker because at the minute my ice breaking question is if you accidentally <laughs> someone where would you hide the body why do you guys i have a question okay i've no i've seen this phenomenon quite a bit actually over there in the uk why do you guys heat up the water uh outside of the pot couldn't you just like tap it yeah, put it in the pot, heat it up on the stove. When it starts boiling, then you put your stuff in instead of having more steps. Like, why are you heating up the water in a separate place with this pot thingy? And then pouring the food in the in the pot, no heat. And then pouring that hot water in. It just seems like you're adding extra steps for no reason. Because I live right next to this field. And it has a massive woods in it. And I've never seen anyone in the woods. Never that looks actually kind of gross. I'm not, that, I'm not even trying to play around with you. That looks gross. When I walk through the woods, I think this is where I'd hide it. Though saying that, if you do get weirded out by that question, you need to... Corey don't look bad here, dude. Without that tanner, Corey looks way better in my opinion. Better life. It's only hypothetical anyway. Uh, pasta for lunch and for snacks. I went for Quavo. And this Cadbury Delight is so good. Good lord, man. What is all that? For lunch? I got asked what my death row meal is, and this is your answer. Either Leah's dad's homemade lasagna. French fries? Damn, bro. You guys got to chill back on these French fries, man. You guys be doing this shit way too big on the French fries. I can't even believe the amount of French fries these people eat on a daily basis. It's actually quite insane the amount of French fries you guys consume. Yeah, put the lasagna from High Wingman with chips I and garlic. I swear if I see this dude put the... If I see him put the mayonnaise on this shit, bro, I'm done. Garlic bread. Don't think there's a better meal than lasagna. So reliable and succulent. You I knew it, bro. That's diabolical, dude. Throwing the mayonnaise on the lasagna, dude. Woo. Somebody gotta let me know down below. Is this normal over there in the UK? I saw this man do this shit before, bro. I saw him when he put the baby bell in the lasagna. That shit was kind of eye-opening to me. But the mayonnaise, dude. Man mayonnaise is okay. It's better as a lubricant, like to, to coat the side of breads or something like that. But I've never seen somebody put mayonnaise on, besides Corey. Uh, put mayonnaise on lasagna. That's gotta be, that's something different, dude. Your stomach gotta be literal diabolical after this shit. Your stomach gotta be hurting. I do have shit loads of mayo on it. What would your death row oh. meal be? I want to know starter, main, and dessert. And I'll rate them out of 10. Talking of dessert, this was while Leah's made us. I politely refused because I've been eyeing up the candy floss grapes in the fridge. Your dog is like subtly judging you, dude. You gotta be careful when you own a dog like this and also have this types of blankets. He kind of blends in a little bit. I feel like you would just lay down on this bed and not even realize he was there because he kind of, he does blend in. I, I you know, if you if you just looked at this really quickly, I feel like you wouldn't even see this dude, bro. He blends in so half so Strap them in bed. Me and Leah's watching this series called Cleaning Up. It's got Rudy off Gavin and Stacey on it. It's well good. Now imagine all the sad little trolls hiding behind their fake accounts, leaving nasty comments about. 
Tommy and Leah, we're out here eating steak for breakfast. Sucks to be you. It's not a flex, dude, to eat steak for breakfast, dude. I mean, maybe it is. Steak and steak and fries. Damn, how much did you pay for that steak, dude? What is that thing? That thing is so small. How much did you pay for that? I would love to know, man. Hey, bro, I'm glad you're successful. But uh, is this a way to brag about it? Like, yeah, we're so successful. That's right, guys. We're so successful. We can go out for we can go out for dinner at breakfast. It's we're living the dream. People that make fun of us and tell me that my wife looks like she's a Latina. Guess what? We're eating steak for breakfast. What a what a weird flex, bro. Come to the beef eater this morning. We got chips, steak, and peppercorn sauce. Are you a pourer or a dipper? I'm oh, a pourer or a dipper. Everybody should be a dipper. Dips are always gonna be better than pours. I'm a dipper. This food was stunning. Proper nice and a proper bargain. After bracky, we decided Sorry, to go. That's a pretty good slice of steak right there, dude. I wonder how much he paid for it though. How much do I bet that shit was like twenty bucks a plate? No joke, man. For a little date around the garden center. People always ask if me and Leah are married or if we're cousins. The answer's neither. She's my girlfriend and my sister and although that might <laughs> yeah fair play bro fair play dude a lot of people um i know personally that watch this dude i've always asked me like yo is that is that cory dude gay and for a long time i did think he was gay i thought he was a gay man um and i thought that was just like his best friend with the other girl or sherry ann or whatever i had not realized that this dude was straight up until like two months ago i thought he was just gay and that's fine to be gay. I just kind of assume that most dudes in the UK are gay for some reason. I don't know why. But I just think passively most UK dudes are gay. I know that a lot of them aren't. But I thought that was his sister. A lot of people too. A lot of people also think that that's his sister. I don't know. There is a lot of similarities there. You get like there's some. They have the same kind of nose. A little bit of the same. That, that same jawline a little bit. Chin line. Sorry. There could be, if you told me that they were brother and sister, I wouldn't question it. I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Especially if you look at him right here. I thought he was gay. I thought that was his sister. I had not known that they were boyfriend and girlfriend until he said it. And I was like blown away. I was like, oh my God. For a long time, after people were telling me that he was straight, I thought his mom was his girlfriend. Because they, his mom and this girl sometimes even look the same. So I'm always shocked by that, that he's not gay and this is his girlfriend. But you know what, dude? They're nice people, so... Their diets are diabolical, but... Might seem strange to you. It's very normal in Wales. In the Cardiff version of David Beckham and Posh Spice. Look at the lips on that fish. That's Yo. at least one mil of filler. Huck it up and give me a kiss. Four. Yo, that, you guys gotta chill back on that mayonnaise consumption, dude. You, how many, how many bottles of mayonnaise do you think you consume in like a month? One month. I just want to know one month. Do you have like two or three bottles in the fridge at any given point in time? Or is it like you just consistently go to the grocery store and pick up more bottles? Fishy. Come to my mum's for lunch today. You made me a ham, cheese, and onion chia batter. And this was 10-10. What sauce are you made? Mom don't look bad, by the way. Mom looks very young, very good looking for her age. Very delightful woman. Again, with the mayonnaise, dude. You gotta, nah. This household gotta be body slamming the mayonnaise, man. There's no way that, that one bottle makes it a month. It will catch up. So we'll see. Taking Baby Bell out for a walk. We named her after the cheese. Did you know Baby Bell's a lactose free? She's the cutest dog in the world. She looks pretty cute. tonight. He has rustled up some pesto pasta. Straight from the packet. Italy, watch out. Pasta yeah. Livista, baby. Hope you've all had a good bank holiday. If you've been living in I don't really uh, you know a lot of people ask me if I don't like Corey's world I think Corey Wor Corey's world is actually fine He's had some bad takes before when he was like defending Becky Jones and saying like nobody should be counting calories He has some dumb takes on that obviously like I'm not gonna agree with that because that's stupid You're making videos about food online and you're upset that people are counting the calories that you eat when obviously the calories that you eat in a day Are literally like overblown by like two or three times Obviously, people are going to count the calories. But overall, I feel like Corey's not a bad person. I feel like he's probably pretty flavored up. Um, I feel like he probably lived a pretty good life. And he's just putting it on the internet. The only problem I have is his diet. It's very entertaining to watch him eat. Or not watch him eat, but watch the food that he eats um, go into his mouth. I don't like seeing him eat. But either way, he's. I think he's a... Jen generally speaking yeah, he's probably a really good guy and draw a rock, him and his girlfriend know this, but his girlfriend does have a lot of tanner and I believe he has a lot of tanner too but it's a little bit better on him I don't think he goes as overboard right uh, the amount of I, I don't know exactly where you get the tanner applied over there in the UK but um, is it like a is it like a can of tanner like they're just spraying you down for 45 minutes straight like you just got an Indonesian woman just doing this on your face for like 45 minutes and then another woman has to come in because your hand got tired because you want to exhaust three or four cans of tanner which it seems like a lot of these people and I think they call it like shav or something like that why do you guys look 
like you're so brown over there for no other reason than just being brown it's not even a real brown either it's like orange brown me, Leah, Charlie and Becky Jones are going on a cruise next month. To celebrate our holiday, I've made a cruise-inspired lunch. Can't wait, by the way. That's going to be amazing, dude. I can't wait to see what Becky Jones looks like on other people's cameras, man. That shit's going to be eye-opening, dude. I promise it's going to be so amazing. Because if you don't know, Becky Jones runs... She got to be running like two or three filters at a time. And not just on her face, by the way. She has, she's got like a body slimming filter too. And I see it working real time on a lot of her videos. And it's, it's kind of obvious depending on the shots that she's taking it in. But uh, I don't think Corey or any of these other people have those same filters unless they're going to have to delegate that with her. Can you imagine though being that person on the other end of that conversation? Like, listen, Corey. Um, so I was thinking, right, you know how we're going to go on that cruise? Right, I know what you're talking about. Of course we're going on the cruise. Yeah, so I was wondering if you can download like 15 million apps just to ensure that I look accurate compared to the apps that I use on my TikTok. It's going to be a crazy ass conversation, dude. Like, how do you even approach somebody like that? Do you think Corey knows that she uses uh, filters? I don't think Corey uses filters. I think he's pretty accurate. You can see the imperfections on his face, and I enjoy that about him. I enjoy that he's willing to show off the real him. He's got a little bit of crow's feet action. He's got a little bit of that forehead action, which is fine, by the way. He still looks good for his age. He's 28 years old. Let me take that back. He doesn't look that good for his age, but I can tell that he ultimately um, he doesn't use filters, and that's cool. Um, by the way, I have no problem with people using filters. I just have a problem when people use filters, and then people call them out and go, why are you using all these filters? And then they go, I'm not using filters. What are you talking about? Yes, you do. What? <laughs> it's so obvious, dude. It's way too obvious to see the filters in place. Yes, you do. Don't lie to me, dude. I know you're using. I can see them. But I can't wait for that. I can't wait for the uh, the, 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 the cruise. It's going to be great. Great, guys. It's going to be banging. So this is supposed to be a ship? To eat mashed potatoes and hot dogs like this, or what is it, sausage? is crazy um by the way that looks nothing like a cruise ship i don't think you understand what cruise ships look like they look like long very long tubed de designs and they have triangles on both end right or they kind of like they kind of like come off on the ends here they're not like a straight triangle that's dumb we haven't made ships like that since ever i don't think we've ever made ships like that actually in the entire okay I'm, i don't know why i'm critiquing him for this shit i've also made the sea out of cheese sauce so i'm gonna take why is your cheese sauce blue is that, is that, did he say cheese sauce? I had lunch, so this is supposed to be a ship. I've also made the sea out of cheese sauce, so I'm gonna tip it over now and give- Cheese sauce being blue. Put a taste test, I hope it's nice. Let's add some sea into it. Oh, it's watery, dude. What kind of, even he's looking at that shit like, oh, what the fuck is that? Why is your cheese sauce blue? And it's so watery, dude. It looked like this shit expired weeks ago, dude. It looks like there's two separate sets of it. There's like the top part where it starts to water up. You know what I'm talking about? Where it starts to separate. And then the bottom part is like a big chunk. Oh, God, it's really runny. Yeah, no shit. Why the fuck is it that runny, dude? What are you doing? Uh, who makes cheese sauce that's blue first and foremost? Mm, it, is it, it hot too? It looks like it shouldn't be hot. It wasn't supposed to be this runny. This does look quite disappointing because it's not supposed to be as- It looked- it looked bad before. Now it looks diabolical. Runny as it is, but anyway, eat dinner with me, guys. We've got loads to do before we go on the ship. I need to do loads of online shopping because I need to order some clothes. Mmm. If I didn't tell you this was a cruise, would it look like a cruise? No, it doesn't look like a cruise at all. It's just like a triangle of giant mashed potato packets. And I don't I don't even know what these are supposed to indicate. Like these little hot dogs or sausages here. I have no idea what this would indicate. And also this being cheese water is blue cheese water is crazy, bro. Would you know this was a cruise ship? No. Not even You've got close. loads of things booked for when we're away. Man, every you guys gotta eat mashed potatoes like with every meal, dude. You guys are going OD on that shit. Somebody needs somebody needs to step in here. And I can't wait to share all the details with you guys. We're obviously gonna get Becky drunk. <laughs> Yo. Mm. This is much better than it looks. I'm gonna finish this off now and I'll catch you later. I, I think it's always the best word to say finish off. Whenever somebody says I'm gonna finish this off, I always think like you're gonna suck what off, dude? That's what I always think, because, like, I've only ever used that 
saying i've only ever heard that like be quoted in a sexual manner so whenever somebody says i'm gonna finish this off i'm looking like oh yeah oh yeah Oh. 7 a.m. and I'm eating a curry for breakfast. No, that's a bit criminal, but there's much worse things to be doing, like sitting in your mum's basement. Even True, dude, definitely. But it's also a massive cope when people say, like, I may be eating this terrible, disgusting thing for breakfast, but I could be doing much worse. Which, that is a major cope, dude. You, anybody can be doing anything much worse, I guess. So you could just forgive any type of activity. Comments on people's videos off a fake account. There's not one single troll in the world. Oh, he's upset, dude. He's upset about the troll accounts. Well, I wonder what, what are the troll accounts saying about him, though? He's just gonna say, I think it's too generic for somebody to be like, oh, you're, you're in your mom's basement. You're a mean person because you said something mean on the internet. I get it, dude. Um, hate comments are always bad and they're always not the goodest, especially if you read them and you look at them as like, maybe there is some truth to them. So I I do understand. I've gotten some hate comments from the survivor stuff, but it's all right, dude. There's a lot of dumb people on the internet. Don't take it too serious. Mum's basement even hate comments on people's videos off a fake account. There's not one single troll in the world that's either as good looking as me, happier than me, or more successful than me. That's... that's there's not a single troll in the world. Maybe that might be true, but maybe not. I mean, it's such a weird flex there, I guess. That's why I sleep like a baby every night. The breakfast was spot on and it was low in calories. For my first lunch of the day, grabbed a meal deal while I'm out and about, and this was 10 out of 10. My second lunch of the day was fish, sweet corn, potties and parsley sauce. Fish is full of Omegle 3, and obviously the veg is good for you too. I've been on a health kick the last- Omegle 3? Few weeks, and I feel so much better for it. I honestly didn't think I could get better looking, but since this health kick, every morning I wake up up in shock i'm such a handsome hunk along with eating healthy i've been going on <laughs> yo <I> yo <laughs> yo there's just something off about this dude it just doesn't look real to me dude am i wrong why does this look so weird it's the oversized jacket bro why does he look like that dude Hey, I'll, I'll fuck with it, dude. 100. percent The better you, the more food that you eat, that's better quality. You will look better. That's a factual statement. You get out what you get out what you put in. So if you eat like shit, you're gonna look like shit. 100. percent So I congratulations for him to for eating better. I suppose that's great. Every morning I wake up in shock. I'm such a handsome hunk. Along with eating healthy, I've been going on loads of long walks despite the weather, and it rains 90 percent of the time in Wales. I also think having a doge is like an optimal technique to get out the house because doges require a lot of exercises and that's going to encourage you to do a lot of exercises because now you have an excuse to leave the house right so it's a good thing that they have a dog i hope that they're walking it always makes me so upset because i know people personally in my life that have doges and they just don't do anything with it i literally know people actually where i live there's a lot of triple deckers where i live right now and uh well not right now it's you know it's just like that in massachusetts like triple deckers so like apartment 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 and a lot of people that are on the second or third floors of these apartments will have their dogs just on those porches consistently all the time they're just barking doing nothing all day literally out there for hours upon end they got food out there and water out there for them but they're just out there for hours and you walk by and you see the dogs barking at you and you're like dude what are you why are you even barking at me i, I didn't even say anything to you bro first of all why are you so upset with me dude and by the way you can't even come down here otherwise you're gonna die so I see that a lot. A lot of people don't want to walk their dogs, which kind of irks me a little bit because did, why did you get a doge if you weren't prepared to take care of it in an optimal way? It's like people that have children and they just have obese children. Like, what you, why are you doing that then? Why did you bother having this kid? And I understand it's more complicated than that. But, dude, why, this is malnourishing this this doge, this, this child. It's not good to have a child that's fat. It's not good to have an animal that cannot go outside and enjoy the environment because that's what they're supposed to do. And you signed up for that, but you still don't do it. So at least they're going outside and walking their dog. That's great. So with being more active, obviously I got to eat a bit more. For tea tonight, he has made a sexy cabbie and this put the cheese in cheesy. After a really busy day, this evening we're chilling in the games room, playing on the Switch. It's got to be Mario Superstar for me. They've put on brand new fresh bedding, so I'm going to sleep like a double baby. For all my supporters, thank you always for watching me. You know I appreciate you. We've decided to watch the Nickelodeon documentary. So sad, but such an eye-opener. You need to watch. You know what? I'm a Corey supporter, dude. I think Corey is A-OK. -okay. He said some stupid things in the past, but ultimately, dude, I think he's a good guy. I think he's a fantastic dude. I think he has his moments where he's awesome. He seems like he's living a very happy life. He emanates beauty and joy and all this other stuff. His diet is garbage, but it's all right. It's OK. It's all right, dude. We all have bad times in our lives where we eat things. We, sh we trade short-term satisfaction for long-term defects. And make no mistake about it, that's what they're doing here, and that's fine. But anyway, guys... um.
that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate because it helps me grow in the algorithm. Uh, if you watch this video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Kiwi because they're cute, they're beautiful, and I feel like Kiwi is actually the cutest name I've ever heard in my entire life. And uh, speaking of cutest things ever, we're not talking about you because you are more than that. You are beyond that. You are the emanation of divinity and amazingness and absolute gorgeousness. Please continue being yourself. I love everything about you. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. If you want to check out the so if you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.